Hey, NBC4, it's Heather Brooker. I am at the DC headquarters in Burbank, where they are teaming up with an organization called Write Girl. The goal is to encourage young women to learn more about writing comic books, and here's how they're doing it. We are partnering with Write Girl to enable and empower the next generation of writers to learn how to tell sequential stories. Comics have really exploded in popularity in the last few years, as have superhero stories, so it's something we want these girls to see as a viable career path for them moving forward. So there's about 40 girls here today. We've partnered with Warner Brothers before, but we've never done a DC Comics event. So this is a really exciting opportunity for our girls to get a look behind the scenes and learn about what it means to create a superpower superhero story. <laughs> sort of like the dog hostage idea. I like that one too for Harley. Where are our women leaders? Is going to come from if we're not empowering teen girls to be able to raise their voice, speak up, and take up space in the world and be leaders. I really like different mediums of storytelling. For a while I was writing a comic in high school and so I've always sort of been interested in this sort of graphic novel comic kind of avenue for storytelling. They're so visual so it's a really easy way for people to sort of see sort of these concepts within the human condition reflected and sort of see their lives reflected in these superheroes. A lot of the times the hook is in page two to three or just two. A lot of the culture that like I grew up with that came from my father, uh, he's a storyteller himself and he, I, so I was brought up with Batman just everywhere, always, forever. The big thing I want to learn about is uh, coloring and because I'm very bad at that right now. Um, so I really want to learn about uh, what you can, what you don't need to say and what what you can just show through colors alone, what you can show through the layout. I became a writer when I was in high school because I had this amazing creative writing teacher who really encouraged me. And I think for them to be, especially to be in an environment like this where it's like a professional environment and they're talking with professionals and to hear that their ideas fit into that world, I think it's just, you know, it's like a, it's like a first step but also for them to know that they're already this thing, like that they're already writers. It's just like a sort of step towards, you know, doing it professionally. In ninth grade, we had to do a project uh, based on the Cold War and because a lot of the superheroes came from fear of the Cold War, we needed somebody big to defend us. And I came up with a small superhero team uh, called Commotion Cubed with uh, three superheroes who each have uh, a physical sense that they are connected to. The one that I've worked with the most is Inkwell, who is connected to sight and can create illusions. I want them to walk away with a love of the medium of comics, um, to be able to tell a story uh, fantastically like you can't in any other way of telling story. Um, you know, the, the scope and grandeur of um, and silence that there is in comics is something that you can't do in a novel or a movie or an opera or anything like that. We feel like writing and voice are really linked and it's not so much the craft of writing as much as it is about voice and confidence. And for a lot of the girls we work with, they just need some encouragement that they're worth something, that their ideas matter, that somebody cares about what they have to say. And once you get through all of that, they're unstoppable. To find out more about DC and Right Girl, head to NBCLA.com.